But if you want to see and photograph long-tailed blues, come to Sussex. You might think, oh, I'll go to the Mediterranean. There's loads of them there. There are. They're hyperactive. You can't get anywhere near them in that intense heat. But here in su sunny Sussex by the sea, where the temperatures by long-tailed blue standards are lower, they bask. And also, we know where they're going to emerge as well. So, Sussex by the sea for long-tailed blues. Well, it's, it's a fantastic story, isn't it? That, that this beautiful blue butterfly comes all the way from France, sets up colonies in Sussex and along the south coast, breeding in people's gardens, uh, giving joy to, to lots of people. So it's, it's a, a fantastic story. So I, I travelled around Britain in 2009 to try and see all 59 species of British butterfly. And the highlight for me was the 60th. And that came in October, courtesy of Neil Hume. And I got a phone call from him to say that the Queen of Spain for Tillery was flying near Chichester. And I actually did something I've never done before or since. I confess this to my editor, so I think I can confess it now. I pulled a sickie because there was a Monday in October and it dawned sunny. I'd gone down there on a Sunday, it'd been cloudy, I'd not seen a thing. Went down on a Monday, saw the Queen of Spain for Tillery. And that was like the biggest butterfly twitch I've done and the biggest buzz you could imagine and the 60th butterfly of the year. But I've not seen a long-tailed blue and I've not been able to get down to the south coast and whenever I've looked, it's been raining and yeah, and I haven't been able to get there. And so this is a butterfly I've, I've got to see. So finally it's happened after nearly two years of looking for a long tail blue, I finally seen my first British long tail blue, my first Sussex long tail blue. I can't tell you how very excited I am about this. 